So let's take a look at some transformation example questions now. So reflect shape B in the line Y equals one, label the resulting shape C. Well, the line Y equals one, uh, it's a straight line through the Y axis parallel to the X axis and it crosses the Y axis at Y equals one. And so every point on this line has a Y coordinate of one. Let's just label that there. Okay, and now we need to reflect the shape. So uh, to do that, let's pick the corners. So let's first of all do these bottom two. Now these are one away from the line, at one square that is. So they'll be one square away on the other side of the line when the shape is reflected. So they'll be mapped onto there. And then the next two corners we'll do are these two here. And these, these are two squares away. Uh, so they'll be two squares away from the line here. So they'll be here and here. And then finally, at this point is uh, three squares away from the line. So we'll go three squares away from the line in this direction. So the new shape looks like this, uh, and we'll label that C. So let's take a look at a second example now. So describe fully the transformation that maps shape D onto shape E. Well, if we look at shape D and shape E, uh, they're obviously identical shapes. Now they've not been rotated, uh, so this is clearly a translation. Uh, so all we need to do is find the vector that describes this translation. Uh, now to do that, let's pick a point. So let's take the top right corner of each shape. So in order to get from D to E, uh, we need to track how far it moves in each direction. So it moves one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so six to the right, so that's six in the positive X direction. Uh, so the top of our vector will be six and then it moves one, two, three in the y direction. So that's the positive y direction. So it'll be three on the bottom of the vector. So uh, to describe the full transformation, uh, we would say it's translated uh, by the vector six, three. So if you'd like to get some more practice with transformations, uh, you can take our online exam. Uh, so this is available through our revision platform and if you take the test you'll find a number of different questions a variety of different question types so some will be multiple choice some will require you to just put an answer straight in there uh, so you get instant feedback on each and every question so this will be really useful if you want to keep track of the areas that you are weak at and you need to improve on uh, so if you're interested you can click the link below it'll take you straight there